supermarkets. When I was little, I went shopping with my mummy to a supermarket. And you'll see and you'll get a really good view. Yeah. What do you think we should get for Daddy? Willie came too. Does he really like chocolate? The supermarket was big. The supermarkets sold everything. Yeah. Ironing boards. Ironing? Ironing boards. Toasters. Televisions. Washing machines. We didn't buy a washing machine. Mummy wanted food. I told Mummy where to find things. Carrots. Carrots. A cabbage. Potatoes. Tomatoes. Onions. A melon. A big melon. That's a heavy one. Oh. Apples. Oranges. Bananas. I'll pop them in the back there. Grapefruit. Two. Two. Yeah, let's get two. And a pineapple. The pink one. The pink ones. I didn't want to be in a trolley seat. Yeah, yeah, no, but what are you going to do? Tell me what you're going to do. Stay next to you. Stay next to me all the time. Good girl. Mummy said to keep close and hold onto the trolley. <laughs> <laughs> Can you manage? I helped Mummy put things into the trolley. Milk. So strong. Mummy pushed the trolley. That's lots and lots of toys. I saw a fire engine. The fire engine had a ladder on top. I picked up the fire engine to show Mummy. When I looked, Mummy wasn't there. Tag. I ran down all the shelves and looked round the corner. Mummy wasn't there. Where was Mummy? I looked down some more shelves and some more shelves. No Mummy. I thought Mummy had left me. Mum, where are you? I thought I was all by myself. Then I saw Willie. Hi, I've lost my daughter. We're just in the toy section. Willie hadn't left me. Hey, Tig, Mummy hasn't left you, and Mummy hasn't run away. Mummy will be looking for you right now. Mummy loves you. Mummy will be just as worried as you are. You've just lost each other for a moment, that's all. When you ran up that way, Mummy was just behind you. Yes. But when you turned the corner, Mummy didn't know which way you'd gone. You both keep moving around and missing each other. What a laugh! So the best thing for you to do is stay in one spot. Here by the fire engines and me. Mummy will tell the store people and they will find you in no time. So we'll stay here and Mummy will come round the corner any minute. I waited in the one place. <gasps> Tag. And Mummy came round the corner. <laughs> I was so happy to see Mummy. Very much. Willie had a ride. The man was surprised to see Willie. <gasps> I got a little toy spider. Right, off we go. I love my Mummy. I love Willie. We've been together since we were three. Choosing. When I was little, I went to buy some clothes with my mummy. Willie came too. I can see some lovely dresses in here. Mummy said I needed a new dress and a new pair of shoes. At the dress shop, there were lots of dresses to choose from. I chose a sparkly dress. Mummy said it was very pretty for a party. But it's more pretty for a party? Mummy said I need a dress for every day to play in. Mummy showed me a red dress with pockets. I tried my new red dress. Yes, I said. I liked my new red dress. 
I like choosing. The next shop that we went to had a lift made of glass. So I can see some pretty dresses. It was like flying. At the top of the lift we met Daddy. Hi Tig, a lovely new dress. Daddy likes my new dress. Okay then, do a fashion show. Uh, huh. Daddy bought new clothes too. You were quick choosing, said Mummy. You were very quick choosing all of that. Yeah, the man in the shop helped me. It was easy. Daddy said the man in the shop helped him choose. Let's go get the shoes. See you later. Bye. Here we are. Ooh, look at, at the shoe shop. They had lots of shoes. Hi there. Hi. I liked all of the shoes. So if you want to pop your foot in. The lady had a special measuring machine for feet. The lady said my feet were growing. I couldn't see them growing. The lady said, what colour shoes do you like? Blue, I said. Then I saw a red shoe. I want the red shoe, I said. I tried in the red shoe. So they both fit, but what ones do you like? Which shoe do you like, said the lady. Red and blue. You have to choose one colour shoe or the other. I wanted both shoes. One red, one blue. Mummy said, why don't you choose blue shoes to go with your new red dress? Well, why don't you have a wee think? Both, I said. Hey, Tig, choosing can be hard. Do I have this one, or do I have that one, or do I have both? Hmm. One blue shoe and one red shoe looks fun, but when you buy shoes, you buy them in pairs. Two shoes together, two shoes that match, Two shoes the same colour, so you have to choose. Two blue shoes or two red shoes. Mmm. Hey, Tig, it's difficult, isn't it? Sometimes when you are choosing, you need a bit of help. Your daddy had the man in the shop to help him choose, but you have your mummy to help you choose. Mummy said blue shoes will look good with your red dress. Well, you like blue and red together, so why not choose the blue shoes for your red dress? Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. I like blue and red together. I'll choose the blue shoes to go with my red dress. Good choice. The lady put my old shoes in a box. When the lady saw Willy, she nearly dropped the box. It's already a toy spider. Trying really hard. On my way home, I played no stepping on the pavement cracks in my new blue shoes. I love Willy. We've been guessing. The beard. When I was little, I went to play with my friend Belle. Hello, how are you? Willie came too. Belle's house was big. There were lots and lots of rooms. We went exploring. There was a staircase to go up and down. There was a garden too. We saw Belle's big sister, Ruby. Ruby jumped on the trampoline. Belle showed me lots of places to hide and jump out. Then we played hide and jump out. Belle had a little brother called Finny. I played cards with Finny. Belle had mummy called Anne. Anne was kind. She gave us a drink and a biscuit. <coughs> Belle had a big sister called Lottie. Lottie had funny clothes. Fancy shoes. 
Me and Belle dressed up. Are you trying on my clothes? Lottie laughed. <laughs> Mummy came to take me home. No, I said. No. And I ran away with Belle and Willie to hide. And said to Mummy I could stay for lunch. Okay, have all the time. Bye. Bye. Hooray! Yay! I like being at Belle's house. The boys are not always the pig. Look at this, boys and girls. History's never always the way you think it's going to be. At lunchtime, Anne made an apple pie. Belle said apple pie was her favourite. You do? I said apple pie was my favourite too. Oh dear, said Anne. Daddy's going to miss the apple pie. Tell me you think it's nice. Oh, I thought. I didn't know Daddy was coming to lunch. Daddy's home. Hi guys. Hello, Tink. A man came and sat at the table. The man didn't look like a daddy. The man had hair all over his face. Ooh, apple pie. Special treat because Tink's here. Mm. The man looked like a bear. I didn't like Belle's daddy. I didn't like my apple pie. I wanted to go home. Hey, Tig, not all daddies look like your daddy. This daddy looks different. This daddy has a beard. This daddy's not fierce. He's just a bit hairy like a big, friendly teddy bear. He doesn't look like a friendly teddy bear. Then just imagine he is a big, friendly teddy bear. Look at him. Blink. And ting! He's a big, friendly teddy bear. I looked, blinked and ting! Belle's daddy was a big, friendly teddy. Then I thought, how could Belle's daddy eat his apple pie if he's only a teddy? Poor Belle's daddy. So I looked, blinked, and ting! Hooray! The teddy was Belle's daddy again. There you see, Tig. Belle's daddy is just like a big, friendly teddy bear. So eat up your apple pie. No more worries. I think it's really, really nice. After lunch, when Belle's daddy saw Willie... <laughs> He was scared! It's only a toy spider! A toy spider! Thank you so much. When Mummy collected me, I told her all about Belle's dad having a beard. I like going to play with Belle. I love Willie. We've been scared since we were here. Fire alarm. When I was little, Something exciting happened at my nursery school. It was nearly break time. I was helping Miss Claire. Willie helped too. There was a loud, loud noise. Come on, everyone, it's the fire alarm. Come on. Claire said it was the fire alarm. Come on, everyone, well done. I didn't like the horrid noise. It hurt my ears. Come along. We all need to leave, said Claire. Good, I thought, away from the nasty noise. Claire made sure we were all safe outside together. Beepa, beepa. A fire engine came round the corner. I liked the fire engine. The firefighters jumped out. They ran into the nursery. The firefighters wore hats. Don't worry, said Claire. The firefighters are just checking to see if there's a fire. Is everything OK? Yeah, nothing to worry about. Firefighters said, no fire, no worries. The firefighters didn't have a fire to put out. They showed us their fire engine. I like the firefighters. That's it. There you go. Way by 
bye bye to the firefighters. Bye bye firefighters. There wasn't that exciting, said Claire. Come on. When we went back inside, everything looked just the same. We had our break. After break, I didn't want a story. I didn't want to hear that nasty noise again. Yeah. Let's go. I asked Claire if I could go home. I didn't like the fire alarm. Hey Tig, fire alarms may sound scary, but fire alarms have to be loud so that everyone can hear them. Whee! They make all sorts of funny noises too. Dring! Woo 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 woo! Beep 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 beep! But fire alarms aren't there to worry us, they're there to make us safe. When the fire alarm sounds, it tells us to leave the building because there might be a fire. It also tells us it's working properly. Hooray! But hey, they don't go off that much. Dring! But when they do go off, we all have to leave the nursery together. So nothing to worry about. If the fire alarm sounds, you know what to do. Listen to that, Tig. More funny noises. Someone's playing fire engines. Whee! Go and have fun. Yes, I thought. Nothing to worry about. I want to play fire engines too. Beba, beba. We ran about being fire engines. Beba, beba. My fire engine was going so fast that Wooly flew off in the air. And on your toy spider. I don't mind fire alarms. I like fire engines. I love Wooly. We've been scared since we were three. I can't see a couple up there. Why? When I was little, my mummy took me to play with my friends. We walked through a wood to the playground. Wooly came too. We get to the special clearing. The wood was quiet. The wood had trees. The trees were tall. I liked looking high up in the trees. They touched the sky. When the wind blew, the leaves swished. When the wind stopped blowing, the leaves stopped rattling, and it was very quiet. Some leaves had fallen off the trees. We walked on the leaves. Hi, hi, can you kick them? I kicked the leaves. Mummy kicked the leaves too. We kicked the leaves. It was fun. We made lots of noise. When we stopped kicking leaves, it was very quiet. On the way to see my friends, we heard a roaring noise. There was a waterfall. The water fell over and rushed and gushed into a river. The waterfall made so much noise, we shouted. Hello, Mummy! Hello, Tig! When we left the waterfall, it was quiet. We climbed steps up a little hill. Timmy and Louise and Angel should be here soon, said Mummy. From the top of the hill, we could see a ship in the trees. We made lots of noises. Timmy! Angel and Louise! Is there anyone there? When we stopped shouting, it was very quiet. We found some planks. We'll wait here, said Mummy. Timmy, Louise and Angel will be here any minute, so why don't we wait here for them? I didn't like waiting. It was quiet, very quiet. I didn't like the quiet. Hey Tig, the quiet can be boring. And the quiet can be scary too. The quiet can make you think there's nothing there. 
But the quiet isn't quite as quiet as you may think. Shh! You just have to listen a little more. And when you listen, you can hear lots of friendly sounds. A bird singing. A pigeon cooing. A dog barking. Woof, woof. The leaves tinkling in the breeze. A twig breaking. <laughs> That's your mummy. So go for it, Tig. Have fun in the quiet and listen to all the different sounds. You might even hear Timmy and Louise before Mummy does. Yes, I thought. I listened to all the different sounds. <laughs> and then I heard the sound I'd been waiting for. Mummy, I can see your Timmy, Louise and Angel. Oh, right, let's go and find them then. all the adventure play things. We made lots of noise in the wood. There wasn't any quiet while we played. When Whirly slid down the slide, Angel's mummy got a shot. It's only a toy spider. When we walked home, it was quiet again in the wood. I liked the quiet and I love Whirly. We've been guessing to a bee. Take here we are. Panda. At the zoo. When I was little, my daddy took me to see the animals at the zoo. I wanted to see a panda. Right, Tig. This is where we get the safari bus. We're gonna have to wait for a bit. We well, had to wait for a special we'll bus back. to see the animals. Look at all the toy We waited animals. in a little shop. Do you know what? Can you name it? There are lots of toy animals in the shop. I didn't want a toy animal. I have Willy. Let's go see what's right there. Then I saw some pandas. Wow. Daddy, can I get a panda? Can I have a toy panda, Daddy? I'm going to go and see a real panda. Please, Daddy. No, Tig, said Daddy. I was grumpy. Come on, said Daddy. Here's the bus. Let's go and wait in the bus now. I think it's just coming. Yep. The bus was all stripy, but I didn't want to go in the stripy bus. I wanted a panda. I was grumpy. We saw lots of different animals. Wallabies. Pink flamingos. An African wild dog. We saw a chimp. Up and up the hill we went. We saw a cow. Daddy was excited. I was grumpy. I wanted a toy panda. When we got off the bus, we saw a tiger. We saw a panther. We saw a big lion. We saw a leopard, but Daddy didn't see. I was grumpy. I wanted a toy right, panda. Listen. We've got to play. Right, we right. went over a wooden bridge. Take. This is us walking through. To a little hut. Daddy didn't look at me. Daddy looked at zebras. This is just like Africa, said Daddy. Tig, it's just like the African plains. I was grumpy. Hey, Tig. It's not nice when you want something and you can't have it. It can make you feel grumpy. But hey, Tig, being grumpy can stop you enjoying what you do have. Whee! Being grumpy stops you seeing all the amazing things around you. The real animals that you've never seen before. The zebras. The flamingos. Whee! The lions, the tigers, we, and the pandas. Not toy pandas, but real pandas. So go for it, Tig. Have a look at the real pandas. And hey, Tig, if you want a cuddly toy, 
You've always got me. Yes, I thought. I don't want to be grumpy. Let's take. Daddy, I'm sorry. I haven't got a toy panda, but I'm going to see a real panda. Should we go and see the, see where the pandas are? I like seeing the panda. The panda eats a lot of food. When the panda saw Willy, he just looked. It's only a toy spy that's salty. Then the panda went to sleep. At the shop, right. Daddy said, Do you want here. a toy panda now, Teg? No, I said. I've seen a real panda. But my ears might get cold. I want earmuffs. Can I please have panda earmuffs instead? I like the real panda. I like real animals. It's good fun, isn't it? I love Willy. We've been scared since we were three. Funny tummy. When I was little, I loved my nursery school. Willy liked my nursery school too. I liked my nursery teacher, Miss Claire. I liked all my friends. We liked playing together. I liked Hashim. Hashim was funny. Hashim got excited a lot. Hashim shouted a lot. Hashim laughed a lot. One day, Hashim pushed me. I didn't like Hashim. I didn't like my nursery school. The next day on the way to nursery school, my tummy hurt. Daddy? Yeah? I have a sore tummy. Whereabouts? All right, come on, I think we should go home. Come on, then. Daddy took me home. The next day on the way to nursery school, my tummy hurt again. Daddy? Yeah? I've got a sore tummy. Shall we maybe go and try and see the doctor? Shall we go and see? Come on, then. Poor Tig. Tig Jameson, doctor will see you doctor, now. Thank you. Daddy took me to see the doctor. Hello, Tig. Come on in and have a seat. I liked going to the doctor. Now, what can we do for you today? I've got a sore tummy. Oh, dear. The doctor asked me about the pain in my tummy. The doctor said to lie down on a big bed. Just go to lift your top up like this and then have a wee feel of your tummy. The doctor felt my tummy. She listened to my inside. Let's have a wee listen and see what noises your tummy's making. Nothing to worry about, said the doctor. Tell me how you feel tomorrow. I like the doctor. She made my tummy better. Daddy said we can have a fun day together. Daddy took me to a park. Make sure Willie doesn't fly away. After the park, we went to a cafe. We were having fun. How's your sore tummy? said Daddy. Gone. I said, Doctor made it better. Good, said Daddy. Maybe you can go back to nursery school tomorrow. My tummy didn't feel very well again. Hey, Tig, it's not nice when your tummy feels funny. Maybe your tummy feels funny because things are not quite right inside your tummy. But maybe your tummy feels funny because something is worrying you outside. Hey, Tig, something is worrying you outside, isn't it? Hashim, you're worrying about Hashim because he can be a bit rough sometimes. When you have a worry like that, you must tell someone. Tell Miss Claire, tell Daddy. Sharing worries can help other people sort them out for you. Sharing worries will help your tummy feel a whole lot better again. Go for it, Tig. Share your worries and tell Daddy. Yes, I thought. I'll tell Daddy about Hashim. Hashim. Who's he? I'm here to buy my nursery. He pushed me. 
When I told Daddy about Hashim, my tummy didn't feel funny anymore. I told Claire about Hashim too. Yes, Tig? Hashim kissed me. Thank you very much for telling me, Tig. We'll speak about it later, OK? My tummy didn't hurt anymore. When I showed Willie to Hashim... It's only a toy spider. He ran away. I like my nursery school. I like Hashim. I love Willie. We've been together since we were three. The wedding. When I was little, I had to go to a big house where my auntie Shona was getting married. Willie came too. Tig, why don't you come and have a look at your dress? There was a dress. It was very pretty. It was my dress. I was a flower girl. Oh, I have a tiara. Isn't it lovely? Yes, Auntie Shona was having her face painted. Mummy helped me put on my dress. Oh, Tig, what a pretty flower girl. Granny said I looked very pretty. So My pretty. auntie Shona said I looked very, very pretty. Auntie Shona gave me a basket of flower petals. <gasps> Miss Lottie, my dancing teacher, was in charge of the wedding. Good luck. We followed Miss Lottie. There were lots of people in the big room. My friends Timmy and Louise and Mr. Tonka, and the Giggly Lady, and Granny, and Mummy, had all come to see me. Auntie Shona's boyfriend, Clive, pushed in next to Auntie Shona. Please be seated. Miss Lottie started talking. She talked and talked and talked. I'm happy to officiate her marriage to Clive. When I looked at Granny, she was crying. Poor Granny. I didn't want my granny to cry. So I did my special dance to cheer granny up. Granny liked my special dance. Granny stopped crying. <laughs> Mummy came along and stopped my dance. Mummy said we have to get more petals. I didn't want to stop my dance. I was having fun. Mummy had spoiled my fun. And everyone right. else's fun too. I'm just going to get some more petals taken. Whee! Hey, Tig. It's not nice being stopped when you're having fun. But sometimes fun things have to stop so that other important things can be done. At Shona's wedding, the most important thing to be done is for Shona to be married to Clive. Miss Lottie can't marry Shona and Clive while you're doing your lovely dance. So Mummy is only stopping your fun so that Shona and Clive can be married. Hey and Tig, don't worry about Granny. She wasn't sad crying. She was happy crying. Ding, dang, dong, dong, ding, dang, dong, dong. So go for it, Tig. Help to make Shona's day a happy, happy wedding day. Be a good flower girl and throw some petals. Whee! Yes, I thought. I am important. I'm the flower girl. But the most important of all is Shona. I'm going to make Shona's day the best day ever. I threw petals all over the floor. Auntie Shona was so happy. When Clive saw Willie, he got a fright. We all had a party. There was lots of dancing. I like being a flower girl. I like to make everyone happy.